Well, we got the, uh, there's the Jeep, there's the Jeep door handle in. There's a, you can see how I had to extend it out a little bit so it would clear where the window goes up and down. But it works really good. I just, uh, I blocked this off. This is where the door lock was. This is going to be painted black to match that. This is just some, uh, uh, what do they call it, tiger hair. It's fiberglass mixed with Bondo. And what I did was I took the, the switch out there, the rocker switch out, which was on the shaft that the handle pivots on. So I took the switch out, put the pin back in, and then I, I put a, cut a little piece of sheet metal, slid it in behind here, and then pushed some of the tiger hair on there, and then I put a piece of cellophane over the top and, you know, got it flat. Then when it hardened, I peeled the cellophane off, then trimmed around the edge, you know, cleaned it up a little bit more, then painted it black so it'll be less noticeable. Or maybe I'll just put some upholstery or cloth or something over it, glue it on there. But anyway, that's done. I want to show you it, everything works. When you close the door, it latches. And if you... Let's see, it opens up. You pull on the door handle. And that works. So you can open the door from the inside. None of this reaching through the window like you see a lot of rods. They reach through the window and hit the outside door handle. I didn't want that. Next thing I did was on the top here, there's a piece that goes on here. Actually, there's a couple pieces. There's a piece that goes in with rubber that rubs against the window. And, oh. And I can see I still have the masonite in here. So let me, uh, let's see, you can turn it up. Crank on that, and the masonite goes up. And the door handle is working now, so the window's going up and down. And you can see the wind, it's just on the inside of these rods, and it's on this side of the rod on the other side, so the window goes up and down. It's not glued in, and that's why this is loose. This is not, it's just sitting on it. Anyways, up here. There's a piece that goes on here, and I guess it's kind of a molding. It's this is one of the this is the original one here. I only had one, and what it does is this with the four holes. There's four holes. You can see one there, two, three, four, and inside here there are four. One, two, three. Well, there's four holes that are threaded, and that that holds that on there. And that's how you would close the door. You would grab this and pull on the door. Well, I didn't have one. I went online and I saw how much it would cost. I think it was like $90 a pair. And all it is, this is this one's pretty rusty, but I'm going to clean out the inside of that and put some rust proofing on it. But it's just a piece of sheet metal. Okay? That's all it is. So rather than spend 90 bucks, I decided to make one. There it is. What I did was I, uh, I took a piece of sheet metal, clamped it against a, a piece of angle iron, and then you put the sheet metal here against the angle iron, and you, and you put another piece of metal over it so it's sandwiched between the angle iron and the other metal, and you clamp it, and then you hit it with a hammer and you bend it. You use it like a brake. So that's how I got that's how I got this piece here bent over. And then I did the same thing on the other side here, bent that over. So there it is there. Then I traced, uh, where is it? I traced that, that shape there to that shape. And I made it out of three pieces. I took, I took some one eighth and welded it on. And I took another piece of one eighth that was clamped together and ground so they were the same shape and I welded that on that side then I took a, a, a 3 8 wide flat piece and just welded it to the top and down. Now I'll clean it all up and weld it a little bit more on the ends and grind it smooth it out but uh, I still, still have to put the holes in it and I and this is where you can see where I cut it to bend it to make it round like the original. See there's Here's the original, here's mine, and this, this 
will sit right there like that. And I just got to put the the four holes in it. So you can just grab, you just grab, put your fingers behind here and close the door. I was going to use the, uh, the Jeep door handles, but they were too, they were too big. So I didn't have any room. So I was looking for something small and then I found, I found the other one that I had. Since I, I'd forgotten I, I had had one of those. I said, well, I'll just make another one. So that's, uh, that's where we're at now. We're just working on that now. And uh, you can see this is going to be when the, when this is on there like that. Okay. What I'm thinking I'm doing is taking some. I'm not sure what it's called. It's it's kind of like chicken wire, but it's real small holes. I was even thinking maybe finding some um, uh, some of that a metal window screening, but I wanted to make a form. I wanted to put it on here on the door on the inner door panel all the way around cut a piece that's big enough to fit the whole door and then and then just bend it so it, it fits all these forms you know have the opening cut here and have it come down like this and all opening for that and, and come off this edge just just so it, it it just fits on there it just gives me a base and then I'm thinking I'll cover it with I'll cover the screen or the I got some it's like a half inch squares I don't know openings if I can't find any window screen I'll use that but I mean you put it on there and then I'll cover it with duct tape so it's very thin and it'll form and it'll hold the shape it won't when the doors say like say like I got the door on its side it won't sag the met the metal screen or whatever I'm using it's not going to sag in here so I'm going to coat cover it with duct tape and then maybe even some of that wide I've got some wide cellophane tape for like packing material for packing boxes you know they tape the boxes shut it's about two inch wide because it's plastic fiberglass resin won't stick to it and fiberglass resin doesn't stick to duct tape either you just got to be careful you don't get the resin on the glue because then it's a mess. The glue of the tape. But anyways, if I got a form, a metal form over here, and then I co cover it with duct tape and some cellophane tape, something so it doesn't stick, I'll, co I'll give it a thin coat of fiberglass. And then I can peel it off of that wire frame because it won't stick to it because of the tape. And I'll, I can end up with a, a, a fiberglass inner door panel. Now I was thinking on putting a speaker in here, but these old doors weren't very waterproof. There was a lot of water can still go down inside uh, by the windows. So rather than put a window there, I think maybe I'll just uh, the door, the window stops here. So right here I can put like a little pocket, come come out and have a little pocket so you can just put small items, you know, change or whatever in there. But uh, that's that's my intent. That's what I plan on doing. There's the outside a little bit. But uh, that's what I was planning on. That's what I got in mind. And uh, there's the other door over there. I got. You see, there's the latch. Inner door latch is on that one also. So uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. I'll just stick this on YouTube and you get to see this too also. Cool.